Hello guys, in this video, we are going to make a simple but very interesting ribbon effect. Yeah, we can see in the level, it looks like a DNA. Okay, so all we need is a Nigra system, and here we use the empty template. And in Nigra, we renamed it to Beam and change its life cycle to self and once and then in particle state we need disabled kill particles okay now we make this effect will run forever in the level until we delete it then we add a beam emitter setup and a spawn burst the value we can set it to 100. Oh yes, we also need a ribbon rendered. And the ribbon material we just keep default. Okay, now we can see there is nothing in preview. Yeah, it's right, because we need a spawn beam in particle spawn. Yeah, we can see the beam in preview. Now let's change ribbon waist to 20. Yeah, that's okay. And also we need to change beam end to Z axis, maybe 500. Now let's see the ribbon in the level. Okay. And then we need a color in particle update. Yes, here we use the color, it's not scale color. Because we use the curve to control the ribbon's color, color from curve, and choose the color we like. Okay, now we can see the ribbon's color actually changes as a whole over time. But we want this ribbon to be the same as the curl. Its color is different. So we can change the curl index to ribbon link order. Yeah, that's color as we want. And now we need to rotate around point. Okay, we can see it disappeared again in the preview. Because we need... A, okay, because we need to change the rotate center to particle position. Okay, we can see the ribbon. And we can see that it's slowly moving. We can increase the rotate radius to 50, yeah, it move faster. It's obvious that we want it to rotate around the point of our simulation position. So we need an update beam in particle update. And also we need a rotation rate, maybe 1. Okay, now we can see the ribbon is rotated around of our simulation position. And then we need to change rotation phase. Also, we use ribbon link order to control the rotation phase. Okay, now we have a basic shape. And then we will increase its number of cycles. Just use ribbon link order multiply by a float. Let's increase the float. Yeah, we can see. So maybe 48. Okay. Also, we can control its ribbon weight by ribbon link order. It's same. We use curl and curl index to ribbon link order. 
Okay, it disappeared again in the preview. So let's check out. Maybe. Oh, yes, we need to change module's order. First is spawn beam, and then is initialize particle. Okay, now we can see it work. Also, we can use beam tangents. Here we use multiply vector by float. We can change these values to our liking, whatever shape you like. By default, the value we can set it to zero. Okay, that's all for this video. It's very simple but interesting. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.